Hey there, Graham. Hi, Brigitte. Hi, everyone. I had, I was, I just started playing a hand and I got a question early. Graham, can I just pull up this hand and uh, rope you into my corner? Sure. All right, here it is. So, simple question, straightforward. Partner opens 1 0 Trump, and I'm set with a strong 15 to 17 1 0 Trump opening. With a void and with this shape, how do I respond? Okay. Well, I think the first thing, uh, and it's very important, is not to get into a tiz. <laughs> I'm good at that. I'll get into a tiz with every hand. <laughs> right. Because whatever you do, it might work or it might not work. Mm. You know, you're going to you're going to get a lot of different views on this, and you mm. you take a guess, and you know you just can't tell. Mm. So, but what what we do know, you're playing standard, right? So you're mm -hmm. one fifteen to seventeen, mm -hmm. and you've got ten, uh, pretty good shape. Mm -hmm. So you, you probably want to play in game. The mm. way I put that hand is, I want to play in game. I don't know if it's going to make. But I, I want to play in game, and I'm going to yeah. play in game. So, what game? What choices are there? What are the what possible games? You know, there's five games. There's four. There's three no trumps, four hearts, four spades, five clubs, and five diamonds. It's got to be one of those, right? And it's not going to be four hearts. No, it's not. It's probably not going to be five clubs. Probably not. So we're down to three choices. We've either got to play three no trumps or four spades or five diamonds. That's mm. it. Mm. We don't know which one's right. Mm. Now we could bid, uh, you know, there's, you could do all sorts of things. You could bid three diamonds or you, you could stay in. You've just got to pick what you want to do. Uh, a reasonable approach here would be to bid two clubs and see if partner's got a four-card spade suit. Two clubs are stamen. Asking, and right. and partner has to respond to that, and from there we can make a better decision. Right. If partner says, if you bid two clubs and partner bids two spades, all your problems are over. You found your spade pit. If partner bids two diamonds, which is doesn't so, show anything about diamonds, remember, it just right. says uh, that he doesn't have a four card major. At least you're down to two choices now. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's either three don't come to five diamonds. Right. Right. Getting uh, rolling a, a three sided dice down to uh turning it into a coin. Right. Well let's let's do that. I, I guess before I do, I want to ask specifically if I wanted to just show my diamonds, at what level, like what choices would I have there? Could I with one bid, could I essentially give partner the choice between diamonds and three no trump. You could. There's there's various different partnerships have different agreements on what on how to show a hand with diamonds. And the, the mm. simplest is and the, the way the Sky Bridge Club computer is set up, for example, is that if you jump to three diamonds, one no trump three diamonds, mm -hmm. that mm. shows good diamond suit and it's forcing the game. So mm. that'd be fine on this hand. That'd that'd work great. Now, mm. very important that that's not the only systemic agreement people have. Some people have different agreements about this. So if you're I used see. to doing something else, that's fine. I see. So depending on partnership agreement, but at SPC, that sounds like a a, a perfect bit of be saying exactly what we have and let partner decide between three no trump and five diamonds. Three diamonds will be fine. The, the mm. only downside is that you're not going to, it's not going to be so easy to find your spade fit. If it's there. Right. All right. Well, so let's let's uh, find out. Let's see if partner has a four card major. Okay. Of so course. partner has a four card heart suit. Now, he partner still might have a four card spade suit. If partner had, if North had four hearts and four spades, he would bid two hearts. So all is not lost on the spade suit yet. Okay. So we've still got three choices. Now, one good thing, the fact that partner did bid two hearts means at least he's got something in hearts. Hmm. So 
Trino Trumps doesn't look quite so bad. Uh, okay. If North had two diamonds, the negative bid, that would mean North had three hearts at the most. So now Trino Trumps is looking a little not so good. Right, right. Another good thing is the fact mm. that North bid two hearts means that if you do bid three no trumps, uh, East is very unlikely to lead a heart. Mm. East doesn't know that we're void in hearts. All East knows is that North's got hearts. So North, so East is going to be reluctant to lead a heart. Right. So mm. the mm. lot mm. now would be to bid. You could still bid five diamonds. But you could also bid three no trumps and you know, cross your fingers. Let's go, to, let's go to three no trumps. Hey, at this point, is there would it be worth showing our diamonds, or are we are we beyond that? Well, you, well, you could, and it just depends. But the, you could; it would be perfectly reasonable to bid three diamonds. Mm. But what what I think tends to happen. This is my view; it's not everybody's view. I think with all this bidding, sure, you can bid three diamonds, but partner has no idea what you've got. Partner doesn't know you're void in hearts. Mm. But even if you, you know, bidding three diamonds really just makes partner guess what to do mm. instead of you guessing what to do. So, I don't know, you know, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but for me, I just bid three no trumps and cross my fingers because it's nine tricks and it might not work, but it's as good as anything. Mm. All right, let's go for it. I, 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 I'm always refreshed by hearing from you, and it's something I feel like I learn again and again, which is um, if there's a simple direct route to where you think you should go, just take it. And sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. But if you can take more opportunity for confusion out of the way, then, then it's worth it. Right. All right. I bet your East doesn't lead a heart. There you go. Mm. That's great. We're running a super contract. Mm. Count up your tricks there, Bajir. All right. Oh, this is the fun part. So we have two spades. We have that heart. That's three. We have a club, four. And then these diamonds. I mean, we'd likely have six winners, probably. Is there any way you could only make five winners? Good diamond? question, and the sort of question I usually forget to ask. Uh, so seven, eight, nine. If no, Matt, even if it breaks four nil, we got him. Okay. Wow, we could waltz through this. Right now we're in a great contract. I just want to just come back to the bidding here for a second. Mm. Imagine we had bid three diamonds. Yeah. Now, partner's going to look at that ace, king, nine of diamonds mm -hmm. and think, wow, this is pretty good diamond support. Yeah. And partner might be nervous about the club suit or something. I don't know. Mm. And so um, if you bid three diamonds, there's, there's a good chance that North would bid five diamonds mm -hmm. because of that diamond suit. Mm. And you would be in the wrong contract. <laughs> yeah. How about that? So don't, um, you know, don't, that's the problem with bidding three diamonds is, is that you're, you're asking a partner a question that he doesn't possibly know how to answer. Mm. Mm, mm. Now your job this year is to get, you count counted one club trick. I want you to try and get two club tricks. Okay. All right. Right. We, we got to be greedy. Yeah, and if so, you're this at home, just and think carefully. How can you get? How? What's the best chance to get two club tricks here, not just one club trick? Two, two thoughts. Ah, uh, well, no, maybe the same. I guess ducking one to see what comes out from west. Now, let's see, East leading clubs, does that promise, guessing that promises an honor? 
It doesn't absolutely promise an honour, but it's very likely to be an honour. That four of clubs looks like a low card from a long suit. Mm. So, so East probably has one, at least one of the honours. Mm. I'm tempted to stay low then, at, at your inspiration, see what West plays, and um, hopefully get the king or the queen out. If if we do, and if we get the chance, look for the chance to lead from north to south in the clubs. The other route I wonder about would be to. Uh, but if 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 we if we win the club trick, I was wondering about playing through all our sure winning diamonds and hope for some discards. But the ace is our only. Um, sure winner in the clubs so if we cash it early there's no reason they're going to discard the king queen right so your first your first plan is much better mm -hmm. but just look at that sorry to labor this point here but look at that combination and and just let it soak in for a bit mm. you're hoping that west if west does play the queen or the king mm. Then you're going to keep. You're going to still have the ace and the ten sitting over east. So you're going to mm. set up a finesse position for next time. Mm. This is a very, very, very common mm. situation. So you want to look for these situations on the opening lead. Ah, brilliant! Right? Oh, you made clear what was. It was a vague feeling, <laughs> but right. So if we 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 want. West to win this, hopefully with um, king or queen clubs. If they leave any other suit, well, we have that taken care of and we can win it with Norse hand. And if they leave a club, that's the best of all because we can wait and see what East does. Right. Oh, cool. Okay. Great. Good. Okay, so leads the heart. I'm guessing we win this. Yeah, you can win that. You could, you could duck, but you could win. Probably not gonna. Go ahead. I'm gonna toss a spade. Good. And now I'm gonna try playing through. Well, you know what I do. To be honest, mm. I think mm. well, certainly you could take the club finesse now, and it will probably win. Mm. But, uh, and that's a perfectly sensible way to play. Mm. Just think about this, though. What you could do here is play six rounds of diamonds <sighs> immediately. Now do it. <laughs> Make them sweat a little. Right. Now, after you've played those six rounds of diamonds, yeah. you can still cross over to the ace of spades and then finesse the club. Oh, lovely. And that makes, that's going to, you know, they're almost certainly going to throw away some of their hearts. You know, even if we were to get the club finesse without doing that, I like doing this more. Nothing like <laughs> making the robot sweat. Yeah. <laughs> Seldom wrong just to rattle off that long suit. All right. And split nicely. They're, they're both going to. They're going to suffer. There goes a club. That's Whoa. good. There goes a heart. Good, good, good. And let's see, it doesn't matter which I discard spades or hearts. I actually I, pitch a, some hearts, or at least two hearts now. Yeah. Get rid of the two. There's, so they pitched a spade each, that's good. And there goes a heart, good. Another club. Another club. Doesn't um, matter. Doesn't it depends how greedy you're going to be here, but I would let's go real greedy and play this uh, as the spade. Okay. All right. So now the spade, spade suit's actually running now. Because they've so discarded you, enough of these. <laughs> oh, you, you're mean. You're mean to them. So you could take three rounds of spades, but the problem is that's going to mean you, you're in the wrong hand to take the club finesse. Mm. But why don't you take the king of spades and then the ace of spades? And that'll leave you on the table 
and it'll guarantee your nine tricks just in case something disastrous happens. And then you can still take the club finesse and oh. <laughs> um, you're going to be able to... My gosh. Okay, so go ahead and play the club now. And finesse it? Yeah, let's take it. It might, you know, nothing's guaranteed, but I think the ten's worth a shot. All right. Hey, look at that. <laughs> wow. My goodness. That's cool. beautiful. Now let's think how you got that top score. This is actually pretty fun hand. Mm. Well, I, I know how. I, I had a pretty good bridge coach sitting on my shoulder. But besides that. There were four things. There were mm. four things that happened, and none of them are difficult. Mm. They're all very simple things. It's just a matter of, you know, bridge is not complicated. It's just a matter of stringing the simple things together. Mm. Number one, don't panic with a void. It doesn't matter. Voids and stoppers don't matter. You've only got a limited choice of contracts, and five of a minor is a bad contract. Four of a major is a great contract if you've got a, a major fit. Otherwise, three no trumps is often as good as anything. So don't be fearful of three no trumps as the number one most important thing. Mm. Point two, look at that club suit. Look at that opening lead. That's a situation you want to become familiar with. So when East led a club, mm. And you've got ace, 10, five, and king, jack, eight, two, that sort of thing. Playing low, uh, forcing your left-hand opponent to play an honor often sets up a, a trick for later. Very common situation. It's one of those suit combos that you keep telling us we, we need to familiarize ourselves with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If not the exact combo, because there's variations, but in this case, just the general principle mm -hmm. of, you know, setting up finesse for later. Mm. Um, third thing is just run your long suit. <laughs> <laughs> third thing is run your long suit. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think three. Let's, let's go for three. Let's go for those three important points. Mm. It's a cool fourth, hand. Fourth one can always be have fun. <laughs> Don't have sweat fun. it. Don't sweat it. Yep. Goodbye. Wow. Graham, that, that was a totally random hand. Um, that's awesome. Thank you for uh, leading us to it. That's worth replaying. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. That was a good one. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Until next time. See you all.